That was, sorry about that, guys. Uh, that's happened to me uh, once or twice in the past. I have no idea why. I don't know if it's just a memory thing or what, but, like, the whole fucking screen, like, freezes. Yeah, I might, uh, screen is black. Oh, shit, you're right. Okay, you guys see it now? It should be up now. No, it's good? Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that, boys. We're back. We're back. Man, that's really fucking frustrating. Let me type that out, too. Type that out just in case somebody uh, comes in to say okay for the moment. Um, yeah, so I, yeah, I'm inclined to think you're right that maybe improved taste is the way to go here. Improved taste on Jahira and on Corgan is actually a lot of fucking damage. And then we can just go and pick up the. Yeah, but that's. Yeah, exactly, that's the thing. Is improved taste isn't nearly as good if you're not rocking fighters. But if we have Jahira and Corgan in the party, improved taste is great. It's 10 out of 10. But um, we are going to get rid of Jahira for Hair Delise. And we're almost certainly going to be getting rid of uh, Corgan for Nalia. Because we're going to be running with uh, the full caster setup. Wait, hold on. Myself, Nalia, Edwin, Hair Delise, Yan, Eri. Yeah, full. That's no fighters at all. Which means improved taste is worthless. But to be fair, there's really nothing good here. So it's like... And we're not going to use Aerie until throwing a ball, so... And Nera? Nah. Level 6 spells, level 6 spells. Yeah, I know. We still, we're still debating. I think improved taste is the way to go here. I really do. And the protection for magical uh, energy will be next, then magical weapons, and then the rest of these are completely irrelevant after that. So, that's what we're doing. And Mazzy comes in. Coming in hot. Let's do it up. He has the best pick in there with our rope back then, like we for buffing. Yeah. We'll get protection for magical energy next level. We won't be needing it for a hot minute. Nira conflict with Edwin? Yeah. We can't take Nira in with us. Nira is a uh, no good. Alright, check it out, boys. Imp haste, imp haste. Eight attacks per round, eight attacks per round, dude. These motherfuckers are gonna chop some bitches up, dude. Got him. See what your guts be looking like. Oh, Corgan's gonna know exactly what your guts are looking like in a minute here. Look at him go, dude. He's just swinging. Half Scarecrow? Oh god, fucking near dude. Half Elf? Look at him go over there, dude. Wait, if I improve taste myself, does that mean I can throw 10 uh, Melf's Minute Meteors per round? Because if so, that would be busted. That would actually be really fucking busted. That's... That's worth resting again for. I don't think it works like that, because that wouldn't make sense. Five attacks per round. Improved taste. Ten attacks per round? It does! It does! Well, let's test it real quick, see if it does. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Huh. 
Let me try it on uh, this bitch to be sure, because she's at uh, 8 attacks, and then this will put her at 10. If she breaks just like my guy did, then we know it works. Because this puts her at 10 attacks per round. Five. Yep. It puts me at 10 attacks per round. Holy fucking moly. Level 3 energy blades. Let's go, boys. Let's fucking go, dude. Yeah, improved taste is definitely the way to go here. Good choice, team. That's so busted. Holy fuck. The MILF's Minute Meteors, boys. Minute. I keep saying minute. I'm retarded. Riddles. Hell yeah, dude. Our camera help me out, buddy. Hey, did it. We get it. Really, it's the place to here. I got it. Missed it. What happened? What's so good? Um, proved taste works with Melf's uh, Meta Meteors, which means that, uh, yeah, yeah. Minute Meteors, which means you have 10 attacks per round as a sorcerer, as a mage, which is broken. Let's pick up the Golem Book. Oh, the Golem Book's good too, yeah. Because it's a flesh golem early, which is, uh, very resistant to magic. So it's like a free skeleton, really. Wizard may hurl up to five missiles per round because it, it sets your attacks to five per round and then improved taste doubles it, so. Yeah. Yeah, we might go get the quiver. But the thing is, I typically don't end up using the quiver because uh, I mostly use, uh, what's the word? Uh, short bow of guessing when I'm using Mazzy. But yeah, obviously won't use that for a while. I still a Sorcerer a few times. Yeah, I've sold a uh, Sorcerer was my favorite solo back when I was a little kid. You threw him per round, though. Read last line. I know. I know that's what it says, per round, but it says... It says the wizard may hurl up to five missiles per round, but... It doesn't say the wizard cannot attack more than five times per round. It's quite clearly doubling it, for sure, with improved taste. What? Righteous magic drop on holy might? It is done. Yeah, dude. The golden book, yeah. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty legit. Let's watch us get a fucking uh, lich for no reason whatsoever. We've never gotten anything but bone golems down here, but I feel like we might get a lich. Oh, gotcha. Okay, yeah. My translation saying it, you can do it up to five times per round, and then, I mean, like I said, it, it might actually be that's the way it's intended. What you're saying, Rainer Zufall, is that's the way it's supposed to be, but the game just sets you at five attacks per round, and then improved taste will double it. So you might be right, and that's the way it was intended originally, and it was just not implemented properly. Yeah, can I, I can cast this dozens of times, too, because I'm a fucking sorcerer. I like that a lot, actually. <laughs> Look at me go, dude! Holy shit! Oh, I just canceled that spell, good shit. And because I have Rub of Vecna, I can just cast another one instantly. Holy fuck, dude, I'm actually a stud. Shit, did we not get the Bone Golem at all? Ooh, Mantle. Machine gun meteors, that's what I'm saying. Oh, there he is, okay. Working. 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 Alright, shut up, Mazzy, you're done. I love it so much. Just do it! No, I want to get out of melee. I'm losing. Okay. This is so great! This is actually cracking me up. Unironically cracking me up. Holy shit, dude, I love it. 
Melf spicy meatballs. I like that a lot too. Might as well get something out of our poor implementation. Spell media divination does not work for project image and alteration for time stuff. Good point. Pepe Le Pew Pew Pew. These are great, actually. Holy fuck. We've got some creative ass motherfuckers up in here today. I like that shit. I like that shit a lot. Yeah, who can we give these garbage? Oh, fucking Mazzy's here. Here, you can take all this crap, bitch. You can hold on to that. You can hold on to the human flesh, Gorgon, because that's your thing. Is this lore more than Edwin's? There's no way. Yeah, Edwin's is literally double Yan's lore. What? Is there a Griffin yes, about? Yes, yes, I see. Oh. And there is a bug where you keep saying I have to use all the... Oh yeah, that's definitely been fixed. What is very well. But yeah, I remember that bug too. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Why is this happening? That was an original Baldur's Gate 2 bug. That was back when dinosaurs roamed the earth, man. That's some good shit. Strength only works with melee tackle? Yeah, it does. But dexterity will work for this, so if you use Drop on Holy Might, which raises dexterity, it should uh, give you an APR bonus. There's actually a trap there. I don't know why I was about to loot that. Well, yeah, Dex is for rain. Yeah, drop on Holy Might raises both, so whether you're looking for more strength or Dex, you get them both. Fuck my lore, is such dog shit. Terrible delay today, apparently. Yes, yes, a standard tactic. That Behead, dumb. Drop on Holy Might, yeah. If only. It's all good though, dude. It's all good. I'm happy being a sorcerer because this means whatever level 3 spell I want, I can spam. Like, fucking, uh. What? Milk's Minute Meteors. If you wish. Refresh your lower the quality. <sighs> fuck! I'm getting these XP drops with Worthless Mazzy in the party. She needs to get the fuck out so I can give this XP to Edwin. Alright, we'll just go and drop Mezzy off here. She's at the levels where she's basically, uh, perfectly fine. 120k. Yeah, we're gonna be forced to go and do some XP drop quests, I think. Yeah, I think we'll have to go and do, uh, fucking what's-his-name. Well, I think we should just go and heal up and get out of here. We'll go to give this money to Galen Bale, and then I think- Ooh, never mind. We don't have any money to give Galen Bale. Well, shit. That means we're gonna have to do something. Hmm. Easily armor. Oh, this is the regen one. Hey, buddy. Well, in that case, fuck. Hmm. I guess we have to finish something. Bulgaria, third best internet in the world. Shit. Yeah, I think it's just distance, man. Fuck. Let's see. Well. Hmm. What else is there? They give us a large chunk of cash quickly. Still have Monty's quest to do with the Harpers. Let's go do that. Let's uh let's tell Mazzy to retire. Fuck off back to trade meat so I can get as much of this XP for Edwin as possible. Then she can join up later if we need her. Wish me to leave. There is still much good that we need to accomplish in this if place. You wish. If you do Dorn's quest and drop him, fight a lot of paladins with a full plate. Yeah, we might actually do that. I think we might actually do that. The friends from Bulgaria, beautiful country. Nice. Yeah, I think we're actually gonna go for the. Uh... Come with me, then. Hey, identity, 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 identity. Oh, there. I can't talk. Thank you so much for the follow, my dude. God bless you. Welcome to the stream, man. I know I'm butchering your name, and I apologize for that. Hope you're enjoying it here, my guy. Thank you for the follow, my dude. All right. Let's go and pop some bitches here. I, to be fair, like, every single fucking person in the world hates where they're from, for the most part. 
I know that sounds ridiculous and doesn't make sense, but it's the fucking truth. Like, I'm in Florida, everyone in Florida bitches about Florida. When I'm in fucking New York, everyone in New York bitches about how much they hate New York. It's very rare, and there are lots of people who are just like, oh, I fucking love it here, dude. This place is great. Everything about it is great. But for the most part, most part no matter where you go, most of the people are complaining about it. Complaining about being there. Which I think is true anywhere, to be honest. Yeah, that's the thing is, there's there's people who love and hate. You're gonna find both no matter where you are, I think. It's just the way it is. Fact of life. Hey, we made it. Get shit on, Shadow. You ain't got nothing on me, dude. Oh, we got the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, it's the shitty Sling Plus 3. Now let's get out of here without summoning the wrath of a monitor. Alright, we made it. Let's get out. Yes. I love it here, but we're number one on all corruption tests. Government's dog shit, and we have a gypsy problem. Yeah, it sucks, man. Yeah, there's bad things about everywhere, man. That is for true. Holy shit, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We had nine follows today, man. That's fucking crazy. Huh? We're hitting the big time now, boys. Hmm. Hashtag big streamer, dude. We're a big deal now, guys. We're a big fucking deal. Yeah, I think we'll go and do uh, Monty's quest now. It is Fuck off me, idiot. Throw your fucking shit in my face. Are we actually at 175? Wow. In the name of the council, I am here to keep That's some polycamp shit right there. Alright, let's go free our little boy. I'm so sad Monty can't join us, guys. I mean, to be fair, Yan is pretty awesome. In fact, I'd have Yan over Monty, but I like Monty a lot. Monty was our fucking star in BG1, boys. He was there from the beginning. He was there when we killed Imowen, and then he was there for the rest of the game, dude. And he'd be there with us in SOD too if he could, if Beamdog would have let him. He's fat, man. Poor Zara, dude. Poor gay. What can it be now? Hope the future will be better. Times can change. People I know from Sophia, by the way. Maybe there's a mod for Monty and SOD? Maybe. I have no idea. I honestly don't know anything about mods for SOD. I lived for a couple of years in the UK, no worry, Italy and Germany eventually settled here. There's stuff to hate and love everywhere. That's the truth, man. There's no perfect fucking place, dude, for sure. You just gotta do what you can where you're at. Make a difference if you can. Do your best to live and be happy, man. That's all that life is, dude. Just try to be happy. Make it work. Rip. Let's drop real quick. Who's this guy going up? You spell turning? I didn't even see what he cast. Is it just minor globe and shit? Alright, well. Take it easy, dude. Yes. 
Rip. Very repetitive. Oh, yeah. It's a mod for Alora. Holy shit. Alora is actually funny to me because she got along uh, got along really well with Edwin. Which didn't really make much sense to me, but I was okay with it. You can always make Monty as the care day? Yeah, not quite the same, dude. Not quite the same. What's up, Miami? Woo, how's it going, my friend? Hope life is treating you well. Hope I'm pronouncing your right na name right there, buddy. Yeah, it's not quite the same. Not quite the same. Getting Zara in the party would be nice, too. Although he is a filthy necromancer, which are basically fucking worthless, right? Oh, we actually can put that in there. Nice. Let's do it over here. Let's consolidate some of our shit. Inventory management times, boys. Get ready. So it's coming in hot. Yeah, buddy. Look at the way we fucking move. Look at the way we move our items and put them into someone else's inventory. In preparation of selling them. Hell yeah, that's my jam right there. Oh yeah, buddy. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh, is that my fun? Yeah, no, it always ends well. Thanks. Good stuff. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it, buddy. Alright, so we murdered all those people. Do we actually get an XP bonus for wearing the uh, Harper amulet upstairs? Because if not, I'm not going to bother with it. I'd rather just kill them. Like we always have. Satisfactory condition. See, so we haven't actually sold potions. We might have enough in here to make a difference. Use it 18 hours. So we can see where those can go. Potions of healing can all fuck off. Those are worthless. Ooh, potions of invulnerability should sell well. Freedom can go. Frost can go. Ice dust are worthless. 5k. That's a nice chunk of change. I'll definitely take it. Chill Harmony is immune to confusion and shit. I don't know who would possibly use that. Maybe fucking uh, Aerie in BG2. That'd probably be it. Let's see what we got over here. Have a look at my wares. I trust you'll find them okay. all in satisfactory condition. Nice. 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 16k. We can go and fucking hire Galen Bale after this. And that combined with the first quest of Galen Bale shit, turning in this shit, and we should uh, ding Edwin to level 7. Or uh, level 12 there. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, does anyone know if it's worth actually grabbing the Harper Amulet? I'm assuming it's not, but we'll give it a try and see what happens. I think someone said these are trapped as shit, so we'll be a little careful in here. Yeah, well that's trapped. Fucking books, lol. <laughs> Reading books in 2018. Losers. Our preamble gives no XP? Okay, let's well, waste the time then. There's some decent shit in here. Yeah, killing Spectral Harpers is what I normally do, which is what we're going to do this time, for sure, too. First time in his life to Varian Lord was doing the Harper hold the intended way? Hell no, dude. I'm not getting extra XP, I'm not doing it. Power plus the guards and ring is definitely worth 15k. Oh, yeah, I, I meant, like, I need the 15k to Galen Bale, and then after I give it to him, we get a massive flat drop of XP. Or, a uh, per person drop of XP. It's like 60k or something. It's actually pretty high. Walk up to their building, let alone enter it. I know, right? To be fair, the red wizards aren't really pleased with fucking uh, with Edwin at the moment, so maybe that's why. But still, you still kill him? Oh, I'm definitely gonna kill him. Still, absolutely. 
I'll give it to Tahira and see what happens. I am ready if you are bid. We who harp are never truly alone. Fucking idiots. Oh fuck, these guys fear, don't they? That's right. I always forget about that. How are you getting hit for so much damage? Are they doing literally pure elemental damage? Oh, that's interesting. Latency to broadcast your 37 seconds. That's some hardcore shit right there. Now, I never cast resist fear because I am fearless, sir. Of what need have I to resist fear when I, as a man, am fearless without fear, without cause to be afraid? Hello? There it is. Like, where the fuck are you, dude? Get in my fucking lap. Get in my inventory. I think there's a one or two scrolls here. There might be a potion too, I don't remember. We'll go and check the bookcases real quick. I mean, if we're already gonna rob and murder Harpers, we might as well go the whole way. You have a huge dwarf to hide behind? Hell yeah, dude. We're good. Corgan came here to battle, man. He does not fuck around. We bolt a biting cell really well, too. He's not sell for shit. Nice, okay. Don't mind me just walking out with, you know. Just walking out as you're robbing everything upstairs. They're okay with it. They're like, we know he's robbing shit. We don't give a fuck. Where's our boys? It is bad. If you wish. Something troubling. No, sir. It's the old bird is the assassin trick. The classic, dude. The end scene, everything at one point or another, for sure. It's how they get you, boys. It's how they get you. Okay, we actually have enough to go talk to Galen Bale. Go do that. And then, uh... Go and vendor this last few bits of crap. And we should be able to ding Edwin there. And then we can actually start sweeping and doing everything in full... Full motion now. With the death spell unlocks a lot of opportunities for us. This is some good ass water right here, boys. I think what I like about it is the fact that it doesn't taste like Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Because that stuff is gross. I don't enjoy sugary sweet drinks at all. Damn, I couldn't even make myself believe that. It's harsh. Actually, this water is pretty good. When you're thirsty, I mean, water tastes great, right? Like, when you're really thirsty, you don't want to drink fucking a soda. You don't want a beer. You want to cold glass of water but when you're tired and you had a long day you just want to relax mm. nothing beats a cool beer or a cold beverage of some sort that's for sure all right where are we going Galen Bale's house yeah, yeah. we actually haven't had a handbush in a long time here a handbush an ambush talking hard boys it is difficult to speak Make it right in here, take a nap. There's a lot of fucking food. I just realized I don't ever remember seeing a tavern or an inn in BG1 where they had the food out like this. They were always like way in the back room like this shit, right? Yeah, there's flies all over the food. What the fuck? I'm not eating here. Seriously? Really? Fucking gross. 
sickle, hammer, bags of grain. There is another fire back here and a big vat of God knows what. You went soon after paying Galen? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because Galen will give us some, a lot of XP and then we get more talking to what's his name. We'll be good. As long as we don't fucking eat at this establishment. Absolutely ridiculous. The health code violations of this tavern are appalling. Absolutely appalling. Do you hear a please hurry up and finish your quest? I am so ready to get you out of here. Called them flies, they called them extra protein. Hell no, dude. What? Oh fuck, let me go look for the uh Go look for the the guy here that we can ransom. I haven't seen him yet, I'm starting to get annoyed about this. Like where is the dude who ransom here? We're in front of the copper coronet, it's nighttime. Why is it not here again? It's happened before. And I have no idea why this keeps happening, but it's super annoying. Yeah, the ransom note? Yeah. Yes. He wasn't here last time as well. I don't know. I mean, there's certain times of the day where, like, even though it looks night, it's not actually night night. I'll be of help to you if I very good. Just so you be knowing, you be going. But yeah, it's still super annoying for sure. Allies are expensive. Had the guy coming at daytime too? Oh really? But well, I'll check a day. You have made a wise in yeah, I've read the note. The girl they brought in, she's a cute one. I'll check during the daytime. I didn't look at daytime. I only looked at night. I'll have to practice some enchantment spells on that one. Yeah, I'll check. <laughs> 10 p.m. until 6 a.m. It should be the night. Yeah. You too. The new prisoner. He's escaped. What? When? Where is he? He's in the lower... Gods, no! He, he comes! He's here! I cannot... I fucking love this shit. Get him, Aranicus. Show him who's boss. Nice one! Protection from magical weapons against a fucking spellcaster. A dude who literally is unarmed. Maybe if he threw up a spell shield first, you would have fucking lived during this fight, you stupid idiot. Cowled wizards are recruiting from dumbasses, boys. This is why I lose my soul, because of these morons. Them and fucking Elysim's dumbass. You and I have a great deal to do. Stop patient spells on my Emmy? How dare Nothing you dare? <laughs> you dare! What? Me axe be bloody ready! I hope your axe is bloody ready, dude. No, I'm bloody ready. I think he only needs one more point, yeah. One more point in two weapon style, and that will give him a, a nice juicy Thacko bonus, and then we'll be in good shape. Well, I'll try resting to daytime real quick and see if uh, he, we can make him spawn like that. See what happens. Oh, he rested twice. Well, we'll see. These are all just filthy commoners. Is this him? No, it's a filthy peasant. Yeah, it should be right around here. He's not fucking here, dude. Yeah, he looks like a noble red, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Try resting one more time, and then we'll be good. We'll just give up on it. I gotta stop dipping into me own ale. Still daytime. It is done. Yeah, I had a feeling he was a noble, but I mean, I just, I'm not fucking seeing anybody out of here. Maybe he's one too. Have you nothing else to do but bother me? Yeah, I give up for now. We'll try it again later. I don't know. Maybe uh, there's some other dialogue option I have to talk to Lady LGF for. 
I mean, I just told her that I might collect a ransom. I didn't say I'm going to collect a ransom, so I don't know. We'll try it again in a bit. Uh, where are we going? Ducks. Go get my amulet of power real quick. I'm gonna throw up iron skin on everybody, too. You never know when you're gonna run into a filthy fucking rogue ambush. Nothing quite says fuck you like ah look what we got over here. Yes, out with it. But this be paid well for this. Let's see what your guts be looking you like. like I too am curious what their guts be looking yes. like. Oregon, you and I are thinking the same thing, buddy. Wait, you get out of melee. Bitch, you don't come over, worthless bitch. That's what we were searching? Don't forget the pants? Yeah, that's what we're trying to find. Was that like 10 minutes ago? Did you really? Wow. Yeah, we just got it. Unfortunate, buddy. Take some more MELFs. You can't have enough MELFs, boys. I actually go for the sequencer here. Improved Invis would probably be good too, though. I do like Improved Invis. Ah, I might go for the Oracle here. I think the Oracle's good. And then after we get a True Sight for his level 6 spells, we can start taking uh, a Breach instead. Yeah, it's so fucking frustrating. I, I know that feeling, dude, where it's just like... Is this dude streaming on a fucking delay? It's taking forever. Suck on this. They tried to take my blood, so I took their lives. Fires blazing stones right into their mouths. That's brutal, dude. What? That's some brutal shit right there. I like it. Some hardcore shit. Welcome to this place, right to the point, eh? At first now, I know you are eager to set off after Imoe, and I assure you that the time will come soon. It takes time to allocate the funds, however- You cross the line one day. That's what I'm saying, dude. Corgan letting her know, dude. Actually, can I do an ID either of these? That'd be nice if we could. Oh shit, inventory management, let's go, dude. Let us go. Oh, here, that looks pretty good. Isn't bad at all. Damn, couldn't ID any of them. Alright. Oh, we got another Bracers of Death. Nice. I like that. The Staff Spear, the legendary Staff Spear. Natural weapon, of course. Alright, Amulet of Power. Let's go, dude. Oh, he's using proof attack poison. We don't need that for him. And I'll take the Ring of Protection plus two as well. Use that. Nice, dude. Vocalize, magic resistance, immunity to level drain, and decreases spellcasting time, boys. Hell fucking yeah. I love it so much. You lose a level 2 spell, but we really weren't using that many of them anyways. What? I mean blazing, <laughs> yeah. Glazing stones are, uh, probably not the same. Potion of Genius, <laughs> yes, you're right. Shit. I could go for some glazing stones right now. That sounds pretty tasty, dude. Some barbecue glazed stones, I'd eat that shit up. Fucking rock monster, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I think we actually hit 10 follows today. That's the most we've ever gotten on stream. Pretty sweet. We're big now, boys. We literally ninja now. We literally ninja. We literally ninja. 
I'm not even drunk. I don't know why I just can't talk. I'm just retarded. Simple. I honestly, I thought about it, but like, I mean, no, she's she'd be at four attacks, dude. If we take off Belm with improved taste, because if we take off Belm, put her at two. Oh, I see what you're saying. If we put Belm in the main hand and then give her the shield, that would put her at three attacks per round, which will then make six with improved taste. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I could get behind that logic. I could get behind that logic. Because right now, this is putting her at 13 for Thacko, which is pretty painful. I could see that. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty okay with that. I like that idea, actually. Always say the staff's very arch of Curious Christian Mage just can't use a simple weapon like a spear. But it's all okay, you fool of gals again, yeah, know, right? It's genius. Next level shit, for sure. I think this uh, next quest should ding Edwin. Yeah, buddy. 12. Five, let's go. Let us go, boys. Let us fucking go. I'm wondering if it is going to be possible for us to finish this shit with this bitch. I'm inclined to think no. I think we're fucked. I think once again, Jahira's romance is going to piddle before we actually get to uh, the Galvary estate again. Be back in just a moment, boys. I'm going to go collect my thoughts real quick. Thank you so much for watching, dudes. God bless you, friends. You're right back in just a moment. Hey, we back. What do you think? Spell you used to save? Yeah, I always felt bad when Mook died, too. Not that I know of. I tried negative plane protection in the past. I know that didn't work. Uh, resistance sphere might, but you have to, you'd have to cast it literally right when the conversation ends, and I don't know when the cutscene starts. I'm going to work on this with Super Mitch, but that's not accessing the sphere as well. I mean... <laughs> I don't think I don't think you have real class restrictions in real life though, dude. To be fair. Two lines almost next to each other, part of the spot for use then let you hear spot place where she's always at the front, you can soak up the hit and in a better position to access the damage either. Yeah, I suppose we could do that. See if that makes a difference. Yeah. It, as soon as we finish the conversation, the dude spawns and kills Mook, there's no way. Because if, I don't, well, I don't know if we can talk to her. Can we talk to her when she has no tools on? I'm not sure. 
Maybe. Or if we are casting Maze on her while talking and then the Maze goes off right when the fucking conversation ends. But even then, I think what would just happen is the cutscene would freeze until Mook comes back, then he kill her, kills her, and then it's over. Then again, we kind of fucked it. We kind of bugged out uh, Nira's cutscene earlier. Nira didn't spawn at all. And we managed to kill what's her name, the witch. Just played, nothing is going through it unless they hit on our piece of the game. It's going to be great. Never choose the other Conos. Let's pick the super expensive maintenance for us. Let's import animals. Think about our saving before next time. I'm to try out through. Yeah, good work, man. Just right click on one of the formations is accessible. Which formation are you talking about here, buddy? Yeah, which one are you talking about specifically? Yeah, she's clearly meant to die there, yeah. And this one, maybe? Is that what you're talking about? F4. And doesn't even have a dialogue for she is the yeah, I seriously doubt it. Four? I like my pyramid though. Maybe we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'll try for a little bit and see how I like it. Why am I so bad at Baldur's Gate? Dude, you're not bad. You're great at Baldur's Gate. Zero hunch. Welcome to the stream, by the way, my friend. Dude, now you're fucking amazing at this game, man. Anyone tells you otherwise is an idiot. Fuck, I don't know how spells are if it's right. I'm not that allergic. No, you're the best, man. You're the best there ever was, the best there ever will be, you hear me? Now, let's go get our reward, boys. Ding, Edwin. Finally get the death spell, and then we can finally go do the Arnies and one-shot all the trolls instantaneously without having to fucking fight them. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fucking delightful, lads. Hey, tell us why you're struggling with Baldur's Gate, buddy. We have the greatest experts of the world in here. Do you like the pyramid, too? Yeah, I, I like the pyramid because I like, uh... I really, I mean, it's... I, don't, I really don't have a good reason. I do like the pyramid, though. There it is, boys, the level up. He's finally leveled up. He's finally got him, boys. Here we go. Ooh, fuck that. Oh yeah, that's my jam, boys. That's my jam. Out of the first one on story mode, I couldn't finish on easy. Feels bad, man. That's rough, dude. That is rough. It's something that's it's. It's not that there's a learning curve, but the game is very different. On the one to use what spells. Well, shit, man. I tell you what, I can help you with that, no problem. Or right, what uh, class are you playing, my guy? And who else is in your party? I have lots of videos of Baldur's Gate 1 going very well. I was actually considering the other day making a YouTube video of just going over various spells and what I like about them and what I don't like and think are good and what don't aren't good. Yeah, it's a different game, man. If you're used to playing shit like... For me, like, I I started playing this game after shit like Super Mario RPG, right? I was still playing shit on my SNES and my N64, and then transitioning to this game was like, wow, this is really fucking different. I mean, I played Diablo, which I guess would be a little closer, but even then, it's still not really the same, right? Using spell for Sorcerer could be good, that's what I was considering, yeah. I was gonna go over all the spells in general, let's just do a, a straight up a full video about each spell... And, you know, my personal thoughts on it. And cool things you can do with each spell. What's up, what's up? What's up, Irish people? How's it going, my dude? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Hey, Zerafuse, how's it going, man? Yeah, sort for the win, buddy. This is the first time we've ever had uh, a sorcerer run, so I'm pretty hyped about it. We're doing well. Made it all the way to BG2 so far, so kicking ass so far. Yeah, pausing is probably the key. Pro pausing is one of the biggest things for sure. Is a lot of people don't use the pause button when they should. And a lot of people will also let the AI cast shit. No, that doesn't count. The open mark, shut up. How do I fucking mute mods? 
Oh, shut up! <laughs> yeah, that one doesn't count, dude. That one was like, we played him for like an hour, man. He died early. We played him for like an hour and then we had to make him again. That one doesn't count. That didn't count. He died to bullshit, too. He died to complete bullshit. Who was that? What was his name? I already forgot his name. Do you remember? So if you die, you start over at BG1? Yeah, we start over at BG1. We start all the way from the beginning. Gregory. Yeah, Gregory Peck. That's who it was. That was some bullshit, dude. Mirror image, shield. The dude rolls a perfect 20 and hits me, not my mirror images. What the fuck, man? That was some bullshit right there. Yeah, we uh we start from BG1, go to BG2, and then go to throw in a ball. Our goal is to go from start to finish and do the entire saga. Died because his name is Gregory. Man, you can't hate on Gregory Peck, dude. To kill a Mockingbird, the Omen series. Well, technically just Omen 1, but I mean, yeah, come on. The stupider the name, the farther the character goes, right? Game didn't like the name, killed Gregory right off the bat. Maybe that's your right, dude. Yeah, how far did Donkey Kong get? Donkey Kong got pretty far. The Veyron did too. We got really far on both those fuckers. Guns never room. Yeah, we're making it all the way to TOB dude, this time. We're gonna make it all the way to Melisan this time, boys. We've been to TOB twice now. It's time to get to Melisan. Yeah, Donkey Kong died to Fire Giants, right? No, that was to Veyorn, right? Yeah, Deveyor and died to Fire Giants. This is no place. That was hilarious. Full HP, Berserker Mage, dies in two seconds to a fucking Fire Giant. Donkey Kong died in the Underdark. Yeah, that's right, to the Chaos Spell. Yeah, that was a that was an embarrassing run. I think Herodelisa died early in that one too. That was unfortunate. I'm too fucking stupid to identify everything. I think the low int, I'm kind of regretting this, to be honest. I'm regretting the low int, for sure. Feels good, man. Only it's the Varon and Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen made it? That's right, yeah. Fucking the king of cool and throwing a ball, boys. Steve McQueen, we killed uh, King X and the Twisted Rune, man. You can't beat that shit. Epic Struggle, which is the one where you literally didn't have enough people alive to have a six-man party. That was the Varon. We literally were down to five people and throwing a ball. Four people and throwing a ball, I think, right? Hold on, let me click it. I think it was the Varen where we had, like, no fucking people left. Wait, did I have a full six men? Yeah, we were down to five people, and we literally could not get a sixth person. That was brutal, man. That was sad. I'm watching it right now. I'm just going in, I'm going hard. Bam bam. <laughs> Disappeared in less than a second, dude. That was fucking hilarious. Steve was much better, yeah. Uh, can I drop a bunch of old questions I'm carrying around? Yeah, dude, absolutely. You can get rid of all your shit, man. How did you even get your Berserk and Mage 100 to see that? Uh, that's nutty. Uh, I had 19. No. Yeah, I had 19 Constitution. So I'm getting 15 HP per level. Uh, times 9 is going to be 90, plus 9 times 5 is 45, which puts me at 135. Berserk puts me at 150, and then you have the Helm of Baldoran, it's another 5, 155, and then you have finally your Familiar, which you summon, which would put me at 173. Because you get half of your Familiar's HP added on. That's one of the reasons I use Find Familiar. I'm, uh, my main is almost always a mage, and it's a really good spell because it's just flat bonus HP. It, as you can see, it wasn't enough, though. <laughs> Fuck, it's so stupid, man. My stones... The thing is, we were just running from Yagashira. The fight went really badly. Keldorn just got perma-killed. And, uh... So I didn't refresh my stone skin stupidly and... Cost us the fucking game right there. I Honestly, I don't know if we could even have taken Yagashira the second time around. Because we'd already lost Keldorn. And we had no other... Well, I was still a fighter. Maybe. Maybe. So I saw I got in the party and this quest killed around the house? Fuck her, saw, dude. 
Fuck your sword. Good times, man. Good times. The fight didn't go terribly. <laughs> you were in a really good spot, man. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> you were in a really good spot. It is done. Holy shit. Yeah, that uh, I'm not that fight. We were not in a good spot. We we're not. Well, no, we did push him into phase two. So yeah, we might. Yeah, we were in a great spot. We had it. Yeah, Yopabaris was right. We were in a great spot. No problem. Easy. Easy fight. Wait, we didn't have Edwin that time either, did we? Who else was in the fucking party? I already forgot. I don't think we had Edwin. That was the run where we didn't have Edwin. Which was brutal. Not having Edwin is just painful. I love how all the fucking snakes managed to get themselves wedged behind beds. Over they ambushed us when we were trying to sleep in a room full of beds. I like that a lot. Hey, I rush people. Thanks so much for the follow, dude. Bless you and welcome to the stream, my friend. Hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, if you like Baldur's Gate, it's a good channel for you, my guy. All right, I know what we need now. It's time, boys. What we've been waiting for for so long. Oh wait, no, we don't have it until we rest. Never mind. I'm gonna say I'm just gonna death these idiots real quick, but yeah, can't do that yet. I'm gonna just fucking fire boys, these motherfuckers. Hopefully, right. we get a rest out here. History in the making, really, hell yeah. Mazzy, Saravok, Area, Vaconia, Kelrin. That's brutal. Yeah, that was the run where we lost every single fucking mage, and we had to dual class Saravok to a fucking thief because we ran out of thieves, too. Hey, Zero Hunch, thanks so much for the follow, my friend. Bless you and welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying it, my guy. If you have any questions about Baldur's Gate, man, feel free to ask, dude. We are a treasure trove of knowledge here. We are a trove of knowledge, dude. I'm gonna put up uh, some videos on YouTube and, um, for, uh, maybe some beginner's guides. I was thinking about doing that on Sunday, making a couple videos. What scripts do you have your party's AI set to? They seem smart, smarter than normal. I have them turned off completely, I rush people. I refuse to have them cast anything. I am actually manually choosing every single one of their decisions. The only thing we have on is auto attack enemies, so they're not wasting rounds, that's all. And we do have fine traps on our thief, but that's it. Everything else is turned off completely. Hey, Selfagar, how's it going, my dude? Hope life is treating you well, friend. Yeah, I, I don't... The AI is terrible in this game. It's decision making's... It's decision making is quite poor. So... Yeah, we never we never use it. Alright, let's go outside and avert your eyes, my friends. Avert your eyes, boys. I feel bad just doing this. I'm sorry, guys. Hurry up! Rest in peace, Sparky. Rest in peace, my friends. Wait, we're missing some meat. Fuck, one of them's alive. Wait, we're missing one. There he is. There we go. Peter, no! Devil Force is getting this one to run. Hell yeah, it is, dude. We got this shit, man, for sure. Yeah, I, I have uh, all my spell. Most of my spells are uh, bound to keys, so it may look like the character's just doing shit automatically, but it's actually me clicking everything. It's me clicking everything. Should be an ambush up here. Yeah, here it is. There it is, boys. What we've all been waiting for. Here it comes. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Ooh, the big 12k drops, too, from the spirit trolls. Gotta flex that StarCraft APM on it. You know it, dude. My actions per minute are through the roof. What? Simple. 
You know how it is, dude. You gotta fucking click everything constantly. Check that mini map 20 times a second. Check those fucking drones and make sure they're all fucking mining the exact same fucking node. Even if they're roofing the game with boss, hell yeah, dude. You know how we do, man. This spells really would bother with you. You get less money at the end if Nolly's not with you. Oh, yeah, maybe? Huh. You might be right. I mean, I guess we could invite her. It's not like it matters, right? Because, uh, the XP drop at the very end is per person, so. Get that spell off, buddy. There you go. Wait, did he actually die to a death spell? Greater 1T shouldn't die to death. There's no savers this shit, right? Huh. Maybe it's because we damaged him already. Yeah, to me, all yes, that's news to me. I think he means the uh, money that's inside the um, by her dead daddy. Maybe that's what you mean. Yes. But no, actually, you're, no, he's right. Nalia gives us a tiny bit of money. She gives us like five hundred gold at the end. Is like thanks. If you wish. I remember that now. But I don't see her giving us more money just because she's in the party. Maybe. Yeah. The old lady's like, fuck off. This is an absolute nightmare. Filthy peasants. In my keep? Yeah, Edwin not having the Robo Vecna is actually kind of painful. That spell was a long cast. How do you know what the hit dice of an enemy is without googling it? Is there a way to check in game or you just slowly build that encyclopedic knowledge? Yeah, I hate to say it, but that's just knowledge of playing the game. I'm I'm not sure exactly of what it is. Like I couldn't tell you if it, they had ten or nine, but I know for a fact that typically they have more than eight HD because I know they're immune to death spell. If you have more than eight HD, you're immune to death. So when I cast it, it doesn't work. I assume they have more than eight HD. I still wait for the max companion XP. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm not gonna pit her in right now. I'm gonna wait until we clear the keep and then we'll grab her in at the very last second. I think. I think that's the, the way to go about it, for sure. Just the question, Nolly talks to you, actually get something like 10k? Huh. Well, I'll definitely try it. That's definitely worth picking her up. We'll grab her and see what happens. I know for a fact she gives you like 400 gold or something. It's, it's fucking disgusting. ATHD, even fledgling vampires later on, it's a different story, yeah. Oof. I love it so much. Like, they don't even give good XP, but it's just hilarious watching them all die at the same time. I love it, dude. God bless the death spell. Do you remember how long this shit used to take when we come here early and Edwin doesn't have death and you literally have to kill these trolls and then wait 20 seconds for them to fall over and then kill them again because they're fucking trolls? It's fucking brutal, dude. Actually brutal. Feels good, man. Feels great, actually. I take it back. It's like Fireball and BG1 pretty much, man. Death spell is uh, definitely where it's at. Alright, let's start moving all this shit over into other people's inventories. Alright, let's go and uh, cook up our doggo meat, too. Disgusting. Okay, we cannot do that. We'll give this to we're getting here. Pass all this shit down. Yeah, it works for um it works for all summons, so it's useful even in TOV. But uh yeah, obviously there's a certain point where you'll pass in game where it's just it doesn't work on anybody ever again, really. But up until then, shit is great. Works on all one T except one T mages and greater one T. Uh let's see. All trolls I think die to it. Uh, all summons die to it except Fallen Planetar. Yeah, it's good shit. Not on Planetar, yeah, fucking... Yeah, it doesn't work on Planetar, sadly. That's what Imprisonment is for. Someone know, are BG mods compatible with Linux? Unfortunately, I don't know which version you're using. Get less spells than a normal sorcerer, is it worth it? I think it is, in a sense. There's a couple of things that are really nice about Dragon Disciple. The HP is the biggest one. 
Finding a single group, drank a whole stack of potions, got his drink. He was almost dying, yeah. I don't think it works on Elemental Princess either. I've never tried it, Ubuntu, yeah. On, I, I couldn't help you, man. I'm so sorry. You could give it a try. I seriously doubt the install package works, is compatible. Um, someone might have done, might have actually done the legwork and made it work. Um, but I couldn't begin to tell, I couldn't begin to help with that shit. That would take me fucking a year to code that. And I don't code, so. I don't know how to do fucking anything, I'm retarded. You got a question about Visual Basic, I got your back, boy, but. Yeah, I don't know shit about anything, dude. That was not my field. Have you fought Fur Craig yet? Yup, yeah, not for a while, my friend. We're not going to do Fur Craig for a hot minute here. Pro not going to be today, that's for sure. Might not even be tomorrow. It's going to be at the very end of tomorrow. Or, uh, or the day after. We'll see what happens, though. We do got two more hours here of this. I'm not closing the stream anytime soon. You got nothing on the docket today, so we can go the full duration as we should be. Oh, fuck. Right, I'm trying to get back at the, the full... Uh, Eight hour stream days here. Summer compatible Linux on art. What's your least favorite stretch of the trilogy? Um That's actually an interesting question. If we include SOD, then definitely one hundred percent SOD. Otherwise it would probably be uh the stretch where you arrive at Spellhold to where you uh get to the underdark, I think would be the most annoying for me. Because Spellhold is fucking annoying and it's boring. And it's very RNG dependent. The Sahuagin fights, the Githyanki fights are very RNG dependent. You get absolutely nothing from them whatsoever. And it's very possible that someone in your die can die per someone in your party can die permanently, and it's really frustrating for me. So I would say that's probably my least favorite part. Some woods work on Linux, but you need to Google for them, yeah. There's, there's no good items in there. It's trash mostly. I also play BG on Linux, but I don't use the mods. Even then, aren't the distributions completely different? I don't know shit about it, but like, if you have fucking Ubuntu, isn't that different from fucking Gen 2 and some other shit? Use the SCS component where companions are less likely to die permanently? I do not. Uh, we had used that in the past, but we do not use that. So, the only thing that I've changed to where you can't die permanently from is a fallen planetar. Because they would literally... You could be fully buffed, right? Stone skin, uh, death ward, bear image, blur, everything up. And you would die in one hit permanently to a fallen planetar. Because the way it would work... Ooh, voice cracking. The way it would work is that um, they'd hit you and the Vorpal Blade effect would go through everything. Or you'd get dispelled, lose your death ward, and then the Vorpal Blade would activate... And then you'd still perma die. It was fucking horrendously stupid and pissed me and many viewers off to no end. And so I permanently edited the planetar to where she can't do that anymore. But everything else can still perma kill you. Dragons can still kill you with their breaths. Elemental damage can perma kill you. A rogue backstab can perma kill you. Disintegration obviously still works. Sphere of chaos. Yada yada yada. Everything but fallen planetar. That's one of the reasons why a lot of my fights you'll see that uh and that last one of the things we just linked with Deveorn, we actually ran out of companions. They were all permanently killed at that point. Just for that occasion? Yeah. No, we're just you're just gonna leave it the way it is. Yeah, it's it's fucking stupid and frustrating. Use build GE from Super Plus and just jump the best that up stream. I mean, oh okay, nice. Also playing without mounts. When I finish my current run, I think I'll try. Fuck playing guitars. Yeah, they're so stupid, dude. It pissed me off to no end, man. Because there's nothing, no way to counter. What I'd end up doing is uh, protection from magical weapons and then run into the melee and imprison the planetar. And that only works when you're super high level. When as long as you have access to the need to live, Linux is pretty much Linux. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I, I, have, I haven't looked into Linux since like the early 2000s, so this shit is pretty much news to me, to be honest. I was really interested at the time, but I'm just a fucking lazy guy. Because, uh, Dave, I want to try SCS. Good shit. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I really recommend it. It makes the game much more challenging, for sure. I'd recommend it to everybody. If you are comfortable playing the original Baldur's Gate and you want it to be more challenging, this is probably the best mod for you. 
tactics I think goes over the top, and they add some really gimmicky bullshit things that I'm not a fan of. But if you're looking for SES, is good stuff. I am willing. What? Simple. Have you nothing else to do but bother me? I am ready. Be kind. Okay. Uh, the trolls don't carry stuff, yeah. Uh, the items with drops, yeah, it's just the trolls don't have anything. You're saying pretty much every fight is completely independent of luck, i.e. doable to rest strategy independent of luck? Pretty much. I mean, my BG1 runs have gotten to the point where we really don't lose anybody, ever. Um, BG2 is much more RNG. The Sphere of Chaos is probably my biggest one after uh, Fallen Planetar. Because just standing in it, you have a chance to get permanently killed. Um... And you get disintegrated, so you lose all the items, too. Drinks of items spells the planet of Christmas too, but yeah. It's absolutely ridiculous in this sense, because they're unblockable, too. Normally, protection from petri or, um, abjuration will make you immune to dispel magic, but it's not the case for Planetos. Or Karsamir. Not a fan of both of those, to be honest. I go. Speak as I would you throw up turning. He doesn't have turning. Oh, he does have turning. There it is. Okay. So we're gonna get this down with a. I think it comes down with secret word. I'm not sure. Yep, yeah, it worked. Let's fuck him up, boys. Die, mage. Really? He got the sequencer off for the last second? Yeah, let's see if we can get him out here. I oh, he resisted everything. Oh, we got him. There he is. Little bitch. Get shit on. Yeah, they are powerful artifacts still. How do you avoid imprisonment? Oh, um, protection from uh, spell immunity abjuration will make you immune to imprisonment. This spell right here. It's only one round per level, but uh, spell immunity will take care of it, no problem. Or power from your average level 40 adventure, maybe. Spell immunity protection from undead, protection from magic. Protection from undead won't work with uh, SCS, unfortunately. At least it didn't when I tried it. Kang I put that scroll on fucking Mazzy and Kangak still whooped her ass. Icewind Dale did well with items, not a lot of spoils in the sense that you have to toss. Tons of them each on different properties, nice. Did it just over reveal invisible? Um, I actually didn't. I'm a sorcerer, so I don't have uh, detect invisibility. And Edwin can't cast it because he's a conjurer. So I should take it on Yan. Oh, I have another level two spot because of the necklace. So I'll take it now. But um, at the time, Yan was stuck in a cast, so I couldn't actually cast Oracle on him. So I used glitter dust on myself and Edwin instead. He definitely didn't. Um, Kangax did not dispel my protection from undead. It was still on Mazzy when he trapped her soul with his... Uh... Demi Liches in this game are given an ability called Trap the Soul, which is based on their D&D ability. It's, and the game basically treats it as imprisonment, but it gives you a save, and if you fail the save, you lose four levels. And he uses it once a round. It's like an innate ability kind of thing, where he uses it every round until basically you're all imprisoned and your soul is trapped, or um, you basically lose a level until you're all dead. And he was able to use that on her, which means he was able to target her with an ability um, without any problems, despite having the scroll of protection from undead up. I know SCS might fuck with it, and I'm assuming it did, because that's what happened when I did Kangax last time. She got spell trapped. She got uh, her soul trapped even with it up. Use some Devos enemies? Yeah. Well, I mean, Divination will go off guarantee, but you can save versus Glitter Dust. You can't save versus Detect Invisibility. But like I said, both me and Edwin don't have it. Yes. And that's why we uh, didn't just use Detect Invisibility right there. Detect Invisibility would have been by far the best fucking response to him going invisible. But I just didn't have it.
Negative flame protection work against it. It works against the level drain, but not against the uh, the imprisonment itself. Yes, yes. A standard tactic. And even then, negative flame protection only lasts five rounds, which is half a turn, so it's over real quick. How come you never need to sleep? I'm always sleeping to recharge. I sleep all the time, my friend. I sleep an awful lot. I think I sleep too much, to be honest. But yeah, there's nothing wrong with sleeping and getting your spells back, for sure. Right after we uh, kill this guy, we're almost certainly going to be sleeping. There's no time limit to finish the game. That too. You got it. I like that. That was something that actually drove me insane as a little kid. It was like, I wanted to explore certain Mario levels and be like, wow, this is cool. I wonder what's up here. And I never got a chance because, like, you'd run out of time and the level would be over. And for the longest time, I absolutely loathed every game that gave you a fucking, uh... They gave you a limited amount of time to do anything. Let's see if I can actually stun this guy. Okay, stop attacking. Let's see if we can hit him with a uh, domination. Yeah, there's almost no way, but we're gonna try. See what happens. We got him stunned, so we can't actually run away. Okay, he just saved. We'll just kill him. It is what it is. Speak, it is done. It is what it is, boys. Do you have limited wish to cash for protection for the dead, which is negative for protection for the whole party? I mean, maybe, but that also means you're not casting another spell when you're casting a limited wish. You know what I mean? Uh, first roll. Oh no, I did re-roll. I think I got a 90-something. 90 91, yeah. Good roll for a source. Not bad. Yeah, really there weren't really an important stats. Well, hours? Yeah, I did the same, dude. Especially in BG1, because, uh, what blew me away with Baldur's Gate 1 that I- They did- they kind of took away for, uh, BG2. I mean, it gave you the option yeah. to do it, but you didn't have to. Was in BG1, if you, uh, the original game, you'd have to roll your HP every level up. You would not get max HP. So there were times where I would save and reload over and over again for my paladin to get the max uh, 12 HP on level up shit. It was fucking hilarious and stupid that I uh, did that. But yeah. I've definitely been there for sure. I've been there for sure. And I've been there with rolling too. The highest roll I ever got, ever, was 102. In the original Baldur's Gate 1, I don't remember that. Like, the slider, when you had to actually select outside the game with the slider, I don't remember that. I know EE is the max HP option, but the original, original Baldur's Gate, I didn't think uh, you had that option. Uh, should we go get Nalia? I think we should. We'll go grab Nalia and see what happens. There really isn't too much XP going to be wasted on... Fuck, if we get Nalia, then that means she's not going to get boosted. So we have to literally keep her in the party for the rest of the game. I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. Archerism stuck my nuts, yeah. Like, you can puzzle searching inventory. Yeah, that was fun as shit. But you could change armor in BG1, which I thought was great. If you were playing a multi-class, oh fuck. If you were playing a multi-class like a cleric mage, you could put on your full plate after casting mage spells. And that was really fucking strong. And you can't do that in BG2. If you're wearing full plate, you're not going to cast the mage spell for the whole fucking fight. It's re -level getting 14 straight save reloaded there. It's up to do something with a slider BG2, then you got max all the time, yeah. I swear, in BG1, I'm, I'm fairly confident that you had no choice. Instantly makes him super attractive and charismatic. Hell yeah, dude. BG was uh, yeah, Looks like, yeah. I guess I can suck my nuts. It's good because if you get lower than a 15, it automatically re-rolls. Until you get higher than a 15. That's the way it works. So, like, your chance of getting a high roll on, say, a paladin is way higher than fucking any other class, like a fighter. 
where you can have like three and it's no big fucking deal. So that's pretty useful in certain ways. So if we pick up Nalia right now, she's going to join the party with 750, I think. Which I'm not a big fan of, to be honest. If I get another 175,000 XP, Nalia will join with uh, basically 400,000 XP more than she has. Not sure if that's worth, boys. Not sure if that's worth. I wanted to get Nalia in here to try this out, but I'm inclined against it, man. I really am. I don't think it will be worth it in the long run. Yeah, it's a massive XP loss if we don't wait until another threshold. So I'm inclined to pass. Then again, I don't know what the threshold is exactly. That'd be gross, but dragons are cross with everything and always have high charisma scores. <laughs> Fantastic, man. Go do something. No, this isn't qu this isn't a quick XP fix. This is. This is, I'd rather not get here until tomorrow, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. Hmm. To be fair, we have pretty much done everything that requires low XP. She's sitting on 100,000. Wait, Jahira has more XP than I do. What the hell? That's not right. No, she has the same. Okay. Morgan's 100k behind. Anne's 150 behind. Edwin's 150 behind. Is your guy an elf? Oh no, I got, um, I am a human. You got the tome, didn't you? Yeah, I always get the tomes. Do the easy stuff first. Yeah, we could go do that. We can go and knock out Dorne and, uh, go murder some paladins real quick. I'm down for that. What's our rep? Nine? That's a perfect rep to murder paladins at, boys. Let's go do that. I do like this music. He did when Yan some scrolls? We already did that, to be honest. And scrolls are fucking expensive, dude. We can't afford to be just, uh, checking that shit at him, you know what I mean? I will carry no more. Find your trinket upon the ground. I'd carry the world if I could. But you'll have to pack it. I will carry no more. I've got a room. Find your trinket upon the ground. You'd go do Hair Delisa shit. Pick up Nalia real quick. Not Nalia. Fucking, um... Mazzy. Go do Hair Delise. We could probably do Hair Delise with this party. It'd be tough, but it would be doable. Yes. And if we pick... Then we could actually drop Mazzy, take Hair Delise with us. And then we could come back and pick up Nalia later, and that will give her a decent boost. Human that looks like Edwin for BG1. Yeah, I took Edwin uh, BG1 portrait. Now, let's be fair. This is the best portrait in the game. I mean, look at this guy. This guy's a stud. You can tell he's got he's got rings on. He's got long nails. He's got a cloak. He's got a shiny bandana thingy. Get Corey in a second X first. Yeah, we could go do that too. Yeah, I guess it's right here. No, but then we have to walk by his uh, walk by the mother, and we're gonna try to avoid that till we get Nalia. An already smart one too. Care not to roleplay too hard. You'll stretch your acting chops. Hey, you got me, dude. You got me. If every other fucking race in the game wasn't so heavily limited in what they could play, but the other thing is they all look stupid too. Like I don't want to be this guy. I don't want to be this guy. I don't want to be this chick. This is the only one I want to be right here. You know the mustache? Amy loves those, or Vicky loves those? Amy does too, that's cool with me. I'm just kidding. Like the BG1 music better than BG2? I liked a lot of the BG1 tunes. I mean, I like honestly all of them, dude. There's a few songs that I really like. Oh, this music blows, I don't want to hear it anymore. Yes. Dragon Disciple should be its own race, rather? I'm with that. Smart at 13 in? Hell yeah, human makes no sense there. Yeah, for sure. Good at Temple. Shorty bonuses are huge, but I don't want to play a tiny dude? That's what I'm saying, man. They're by far the best race, but like, fuck me in a midget, dude. But in your nine, boom, roasted. Oh, shit. Yeah. You're, oh, fuck, I've had, I've had playthroughs where my dude is literally illiterate. It's actually hilarious. Like, if you play the game with like minimum scores of charisma and in intellect, everyone treats you like dog shit. Like, it's actually kind of hilarious. It's like, it's unsurprising in the slightest when you're evil because everyone treats you like shit. It always max. Ooh, shit. Dude, I went to one Mensa meeting and everyone there is retarded. I am at your service. Like, it's actually kind of ridiculous. 
Where do we get Doran? Does anyone remember? Is he over here? Or is he right here? Here he is. Fuck, I don't like this guy. He's only possessed by the learned. Exactly, dude. What are you looking at? Of course. It's been a while. What business is that of yours? And what opportunity would that be? They're all so awful. You know me well. I must admit, he's occasional at first. Now, my patron demands the death of Bullard Firejaw or the Order of the Golden Light. So fucking. He demands. The dialogue is so awful, dude. Would you have Wait. Oh, it auto leveled him? Really? Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Wisdom is a three. Yeah. yeah. Yo, Mars is gonna give me uh, some ribbon for this shit. Hmm. You yeah. do know what a bath is, yes? Was be evil, but he's just disgusting. Yeah. Option three was the most fun. I'm gonna kill them all, anyways. Yeah, maybe I should have just done that. I do remember once, which was hilarious. Is I do have to say, there are most of the writing that Beam Dog did was dog shit, right? But there's always one that is actually hilarious. In every fucking game, there's something they did that almost makes it worth it. And if you come in here as a chick. As the PC, you could talk about, you could literally just make up a story about how you were sleeping with the groom. And the the conversation is pretty fucking hilarious, dude. Rep is the spies? That would be alright. I'm carrying Colin's child. I mean, how low does our rep drop, though? It's not gonna drop the one, right? Ripperoni, dude. Stop! Cease this madness! The madness! Everyone stand aside. What's happening, Daddy? Stay back! Bola, stop this disruption! The chance is Keldor and greater than all get at me. Oh shit! I mean, our reps at eight right now. Call the guards. I hope Kel I hope Doran just loses. That'd be hilarious. What should we do, boys? We don't want you here to leave right now, otherwise I'm gonna be really salty. Every damn guest is considered a rep drop? Fuck! Well, Jahira will get butthurt and fucking bail. You've no need to fear me. At least for as long as you're of use. They're as comforting as any you'll get from me. Huh? You cry, just be but die. Shit, we just lost two rep. Which is at six. What happens when we kill the guard? We gotta go slow. What is yes, yes, I see. Yeah, if we do a death spell right here and everyone dies and our rep drops to one, I want to be extremely butthurt about this. Let's turn off AI, let's kill one dude real quick and see what happens. If our rep drops, we gotta bail. Rep's not going down, we're good. I'm busy, okay? I'm busy. Six rip, we're safe. We're good, boys. What the hell? What happened to? Where's all my full plate? I was promised. I got bamboozled. This is fake plate. You are going somewhere you do not want to be. This is all fake plate, boys. You lied to me. 
Alright, let's look around and see if there's anybody else for us to kill. Ugh, you don't want to kill her. That's a rep loss for sure. It's another idiot. Yeah, there's some shitty full plate I was promised here, boys. Don't kill her? Well, now I want to kill her. Can you do something with the wine? Maybe. Probably just sell it, to be honest. There's a refined beach. Can we drink it? Wow, can't even drink the wine? Really? That's garbage. Nights are pretty tough, though. Yeah, what stream am I? I know. I was recommended to try this, and we'll try it. I don't want to keep her in here forever, dude. A fuck Dorn is a Once fucking. Party before venturing satisfied with the day our bloody work is done. Our combined skills would make us a five no love for her. You must gather your party. This is so lame. I don't even want this dude in my party. Gather your party before venturing forth. Simple. How long does it take for his next quest to start, you think? Yeah, he he's just soaking XP. Spiked. How's it going, my dude? Welcome to the stream. I apologize if I'm butchering your name. Yeah, I'm already done with Doran. Let's get him out of here, boys. Just rest a bunch of times and see if his next quest starts. In the name of the council, I, I picked him up because I thought that if I murder all these people in here, I'd get a lot of plate. But apparently that's the quest after this one, so... Yeah, Safana's BG1 only. She makes a cameo appearance, but you can't actually get her in the party. I will carry no more. Find your trinket I'd upon the ground. I'd carry the world if I could, but you'll have to pack it. Yeah, right, get the fuck out of here, dude. Give me that wine before you go, though. I'm thirsty. Give me those potions I'll too. Carry no more. Be on the ground if you want it back. Yeah, get out of here, dude. You lost, idiot. What? You want me to leave? You're making a great. Mark my words. You're a fool. Damn it, he disappeared before I could murder him. He just shit talks me and then leaves? Fucking beam dog, dude. Beam dog in 2018. Back and forth with those triggers. Yeah, fuck that. Get him out of here. Rest for a week in the graveyard? Yeah. You dispatch yours in the crew? Absolutely. Yeah, he bailed. He was scared of me, dude. He was scared. What a little bitch. Ran like a. Bitch, dude, with his sword dangling behind him as he ran. What a loser. Can't believe we even had him in my party. Amazing barb mod key only for us to be though. Oh, nice. Huh. Yeah, most a lot of the NPC mods, I'm sure there's some good ones, but I've heard most of them are pretty terrible. <laughs> Kiro and Heat. Where do you meet Corrin Stefano after the Underdark? Yeah, there's... Oh, they're in the, he's talking about the woods, uh, MRA, where you meet them in the woods. They have the quick cameo appearance with the werewolves, and then they're gone forever. After you leave the Underdark, you go to the Northern Woods. The the same place where you actually go into Solden SLR. Damn, short sword sell for two gold? I should have picked up all those. I'll fucking win some, lose some, I guess, boys. I gotta stop dipping into me own ale. Okay. Bottle of wine sells for one gold. I guess those really are worthless. That's disappointing. Is there really no use for those items? They just added them to be funny? Just to fuck with me? Make me wonder? Bastards. Beam dog, the things you do to me. The things you fucking do and get away with. Be ashamed. Worse than good berries, that's what I'm saying, dude. If shit's worse than good berries, it doesn't fucking belong. That's exactly what I'm saying, man. The fucking Goodberry Brigade up in this bitch. <clears throat> yeah. More to be purely short sword based economy. 
according to Stefano, my original love before Vicky got super hot in this way. How and when and why do you play multi-class? Typically playing a multi-class is... You play them for certain reasons. Typically, a multi-class is just shit. In comparison to a pure class. You level so slow and certain abilities you never unlock at all if you're a triple multi-class, which kind of sucks. In this play, and with the mods I have on... In regular game, you can play whatever you want. No question about it. With the mods I have on, if you're not a mage hybrid, then you're going to be pretty heavily gimped. But multi-class will allow you to cast spells from two classes, or be a more effective fighter in combination with the caster, or a combination of using thief abilities and casting. So there's some fun shit you can do. BG2 is a completely different character just playing the game with experience you have to have ground. Yeah. Got so much garbage here. I'm still salty that Doran had the balls to talk shit and then run away. Like a child. Like a little kid. Just got pushed down in the dirt. You're gonna regret this. Boo 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 boo. Punk ass bitch. Alright, so we got somebody else from Mazzy. Let's go pick up Mazzy. Let's do the planet experience, boys. Only humans can duel multi classes chosen? Yeah. This is true. Demonic Feldorn, hell yeah. Holy shit, chat's going so fast, it's like I'm a real streamer. Playing normal game, the fighter thief George is better than normal thief kids? Yeah, a pure thief, I'll give you that. Pure thief is generally pretty terrible. Pure thief is probably the worst pure class in the game, where I'd almost always rather be a dual class, for sure. Paladin kind of the same way. Paladins aren't great. Guess I'll just sell the one. I mean, they get Karsimir, and that's pretty much all they have going for them. I'm excited, dude. Chat's going so fast. I love it. Keep typing. Keep spamming random crap, boys. I love it. Alright, now you said that, nobody's talking anymore. Feels bad. Well, we we lived the dream for a minute, boys. We lived the dream for a minute. Weeks of rest because the next treasure little children of blood. Yeah, I mean, it's just... I don't know. It is what it is, dude. Fuck Doran. Miss me with that Doran shit, you know what I'm saying? I like the solos of Pure Thief, that could be fun. Let's enable slow mode, no! Don't do it! You read like 30% why bother, dude? I try to read every single line. On this entire page, I read every single one of them. Wait, oh fuck, I missed the wine one. Shit. I missed the ad to Veyron. Wine is actually a pretty good item, because if you get a character carrying disintegrated, you don't feel bad. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Somehow it's always yours that I end up missing, Arkambarov. I don't know why that happens, but it does. You know I love you, though, buddy. A rather bold conjecture, don't you, think? you know I love you, buddy. I love all you guys. Yeah, no slow mode. I mean, you literally have to be fucking ninja for slow mode. It just puts in a slight delay in how many messages you can spam. It's mostly for spammers. And nobody here is actually spamming. People are just chatting. Checking the Red Wizard Enclave might still be worth it? Maybe. Clear Thief's fed out broken. I killed once around with a solo Clear Thief. Nice. I don't know. Guess we could try the Wizard Enclave, see what happens. As I Honestly, those wizards are fucking nasty if I remember right. Yeah, I don't I don't want to fuck with the wizards right now. Maybe later. I can spam. Right, you cut that shit out, buddy. I don't want to see anyone in here anymore. Wag my finger at you. Look at all that shit over there on the left of my screen. Holy moly. Backstab with a hammer? Hell yeah, dude. I probably used a quarterstaff. Right, uh, write down what she says in French, Yopamara, so I can add that for you. Base for dual classing? Oh yeah, Thief is great to dual class from. Thief and Fighter are fantastic to dual class from. Cleric, Ranger... Well, Ranger, not so bad. Cleric and Mage, you should never dual class from, ever. But Thief and Fighter and Ranger are all great to dual class from. Yo, let me add that here. Oh, wow, I can't copy-paste with this thing? Oh, there it is.
There we go, buddy. Now we have French Imo in here. There's a command here. Uh, let's see. Where do we want to go? How much do we need? Still 170. That's a lot. I don't know if it's worth it. Yes. Backstab of the club. That's true. You can do the club backstab, too. If you wish. Haven't started Windspear yet. I think we're going to go and uh, we're going to risk it, boys. We're going to risk it for the biscuit. We're going to go rescue Herr Dallas. Rather, rate limiter to chat. Like, you can't say something for 60 seconds if you say something else. Oh, shit. Well, that's obnoxious. I thought it was just a slow, like, you just to stop from spamming. Like, you can't put another message in for five seconds. <clears throat> what chapter should I do, Watchers Keep? I usually wait till throwing a ball. I wouldn't recommend doing it early. Hmm. The mod powers. I'm immune to it. Get shit on, boys. Easy. Or is it think before posting? Well, I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fuck mods, dude. Mods fucking removed my Reddit post. I'm still buttered about it. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, like, slow mode 60 is too fucking long. Slow 10, that's basically normal speech, right? How often are you actually, like, spamming? How long? Yeah, I mean, it's typically 10 seconds before you even type out your next answer, right? But yeah. Some of your thought in a single one, Secret of the Universe, is, oh no, I ran out of characters. Oh, shit. Well, now we'll never know. At least not for another 8 seconds here. Got removed. That's how I found this tonight. Yeah, I I posted uh, I posted a message saying, hey, you know, I'm not trying to like you know jack off and solicit views here, but like you guys like Baldur's Gate, obviously you do. You're in a fucking Reddit. Come over and check out my stream. Maybe you'll like it. You know, it's a real quick just. Hey, you know, check it out. Maybe you like it. If you don't, you know, that's cool too. And it got removed immediately. So yeah. I mean, I thought that I tried to find the community rules. I couldn't find a single thing saying that uh, you can't post a stream on Reddit. I never found that. It said don't spam it, like uh, don't like advertise every week, but I never found one that said you can't post your stream. And so, hey, what's up, Terran550? How's it going, my dude? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Huh. Well, it's, it's still on there? The link was removed immediately. Like, I, it was removed instantly. Like, I put that shit up, and then I linked it here so you guys could see to see if it was working, and it was it was removed immediately. Like, some dude saw that shit, and he was just like, BAP! Get that shit out of here. You wanted nothing to do with it, dude. No, there's two messages. I posted the first one, got removed instantly. And then I posted just a link, no message at all. And I think the link is the one that's still there. Or the problem with a naked Keldorn pick if you post in your thread, which any sane man would do. Dude, there's nothing wrong with naked Keldorn picks. Let me go see. Huh. That was removed earlier. It was literally removed earlier. I swear that was gone. It literally- the link was broken, remember? Like, it was actually gone. What the hell? Oh, I see. Okay, so it was moved at first to make sure I wasn't a bot or some shit? Okay. Fancy the fall, that's a red, they got like 13 on recording kind of the right? Two lines to link my shit to the end and they got deleted for that? Wow. I mean, like, I'm not gonna go to- I'm not gonna- I don't even go to that Reddit. I mean, I don't go to Reddit in general. But, like, I was just- it's a community that likes Baldur's Gate. I like Baldur's Gate. You guys like Baldur's Gate. That's why you're here. If you want to watch some Baldur's Gate, here, I got a stream here for you. I'm not gonna go and post every day updating my progress saying, Alright, boys, you just did Cloakwood. Let's go and do the next shit. Click here. I mean, that's what Twitter and Discord and other shit's for, but, like, I mean... 
I don't know, just once is just being like, hey, you know, check it out. What do you think? I don't know. What the fuck do I know, dude? I don't know shit, boys. I don't know shit. Apparently, if it's still there. And that's the same one that got removed earlier, so. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. But well, welcome to all you uh, new viewers here. Hope you're enjoying the stream, guys. If there's anything you want to see, fucking uh, let me know, dudes. Messing problem with bots and page shills. Stay really careful new accounts. You're lucky they're even allowed to post there. That's what I, I was thinking originally, right? It was like I made an account to be like, hey, you know, check this out. And so the mods are just like, oh, this asshole's just fucking advertising his shit here trying to make some money. Well, we had a lot yesterday, too, and I didn't post there before. Some oldies found the stream completely by chance. Nice. Well, there's definitely a handful of people here from Reddit for sure. But I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I have no way of knowing, really. Actually, uh, my stream logistics should say where people are from. It should say they found it by Reddit. Old people, you know, yeah. Back in my day, we used to play Baldur's Gate. Yes. We had five discs to install. Must be like 10 people they said the game because of Reddit, maybe. Came in from the Reddit post, really? Oh shit, a lot of people did then. Well, fucking welcome, my dudes. Glad you're here, guys. Hope you're enjoying the content. Probably new on the site too, really. Didn't read mine again. Did I really? Not almost like BG. I'm just here for the Jamaican accents. The other channels I follow are offline. I'm sorry, dude. I really am. Next step is a post on the Beam Dog forums. Literally, I cannot think of a place I'd be less welcome. I'm here from Reddit. Oh shit. Just to say, they said that you're sent by the broadcaster. This thing will be busted for vote manipulation. Oh no, don't manipulate the votes. I never got that system, but fucking, I don't know. I don't know, man. I can't, I can't go around judging, dude. I didn't go to law school, how can I be a judge, right? Yeah, Beamdog. <laughs> that was the funniest shit ever, that Beamdog retweets my stream. And then people come here. I, I don't really say nice things about Beamdog. I have been known to rant about... The things that I think they did that I do not enjoy, that I don't think they should have done, but, I mean, to be fair, how many people do, don't do that, right? If I go and say, what do you guys think of Beamdog and Baldur's Gate on a Google search, I'll get five people saying one thing and five people saying the exact opposite, you know what I mean? I had to underclock my petty. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Because I love all the Reddit and Beamdog politics. Hell yeah, dude. I'm just maybe sitting there. How can he hear me? Oh, shit. Beamdog brought upon themselves. Made it so if I can play BGO Modernist without having to run a virtual box. There you go, man. They've done some good shit for sure. I just... I, I was hoping for a hell of a lot more than what I got with Siege of Dragon Spirit, man. There's some things they did right and a lot of things they did way fucking wrong. And I was wanting a Baldur's Gate 3 for years. For years. Heart was in the right place? Maybe. Yeah. I think the heart was in the right place for some of them. And for others, the heart had nothing to do with it. The heart had nothing to do with it at all. No Google, no hardware forms, etc. Yeah. Next in the way of expressing oneself, it shows in your writings too. I don't know about that, dude. Maybe. Maybe you're right. I mean, I have a southern twang now and then, but... I don't use the word y'all or gentlemen. You have an ancestor who is English? Maybe. Where was I going? Oh, back to the fucking temple. Symbol what? I do declare this muggy November weather has given me a case of the horribles. Absolutely ridiculous outside. I'm not the one who lived with a chick that had a hump. Hey, there's nothing wrong with humps, dude. That's actually the most uh, popular feature among some men. 
Can you hear my accent? Maybe, dude. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, it's uh, a very prominent popular feature, to be honest. A bad mojo in them letters, Jesse. Pop sled. Holy shit. You guys are getting ridiculous now. Look, I like what they did in BG1. Most of BG2 and TV, except for Hexet, was an abomination. The Ice from Dale, they nailed it. Well, they didn't add anything new with the graphics and extra spells, planes off. Please see Tormony is better than the modern visual. Oh, yeah, my, my problem with Beamdog had nothing to do with Baldur's Gate 1, 2, or TOB. These are perfectly fine. I'm a little annoyed that the entire modding community had to do their mods all over again, but um, I have no problem with what they did with BG1 and 2 and TOB. It was entirely from SOD. Although, to be fair, I didn't like any of the EE companions. I thought they were all crap. Except for, uh... Except for, um... Bailoth. Bailoth had the best voice actor. Bailoth had, uh... The least offensive of the new characters, I would say. For sure. I was extremely offended by Beamdog's decision to add some of these other characters. And even then, Bailoth still has stupid problems in his dialogue. Yes. You have to go through like 50 fucking options before he actually joins your party. It's just... It's little things like that I just can't stand, to be honest. It's just weird. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. Heard that my diehard fans of BG1 mess with their interpretation, so I didn't go for it? Yeah, for sure. Bill is by far the best. Absolutely. He is lesser than the mod, though. Yeah. It's a free Yahoo, too. I got BG1 and Diablo and Starcraft as the first three games I ever purchased. Shit. Damn, dude. A PC games, right? Because you did play... You played Nintendo, dude. Let's be real. What is it now? You had to have a Nintendo. Prefer not to mess with one. Oh, yeah. I thought you were talking about alcohol for a second, but then I remembered what wine actually is to uh, Linux users. Bail, I love the Black Pits. Black Pits are just weird to me. Unless it's just the wine you can drink? Exactly, dude. I'm pretty good with that shit. Not too familiar with, uh... The wine for getting fucking Linux shit to work. Alright, let's see if we can do this without, uh... Beggaring the wand tea in the corner. Methods. Fucking methods, dude. Alright, the methods are down. Yo, daddy son, what's up, Drizzard? How's it going, my dude? Hope life's treating you well, friend. Yeah, the wine you can drink is good. PC games, I had a Nintendo and a fake Chinese version, not the real thing, Super Mario 3 and everything. Nice. I loved fucking uh, Nintendo, dude. That was my shit. I played Nintendo, Super Nintendo for years. Let's go talk to our boy up here. Alright, let's go grab that mirror. Ever to buy cigarettes 25 years ago? Ready for a trip on the 25th? Good shit, man. A fun trip or a work trip? Fun trips are a lot better than work trips, man. I have a work trip coming up in a couple weeks that are going to be painful. We'll grab the rod on the way back in, Yopa Morris, when we return with the uh, mirror. I always wait for the wizard to leave before I actually rob him in front of him. <laughs> Stick her out. <laughs> Comp lags on full screen. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of new games that have done that to me. Age of Empires HD. There is no reason whatsoever my computer should ever, ever have a frame drop playing Age of Empires. And yet, somehow, it happens when you play Age of Empires HD. No reason for it whatsoever. That game is not fucking uh, memory intensive, man. It's just, it makes no fucking sense. Mechrath hard to kill for you? I've never tried it, actually. I, I don't know what he has, honestly. Yeah, he might be a fucking stud. He might be a pushover. Hard to say. Some wizards are harder than others, obviously. Get used to it. It sucks, man. Huh? 
Mechrath is an average mage. Well, if I, uh, well, actually, I don't know. If we kill him, does Hair to Lease automatically spawn? Eight level spells in the base version. SCS, you'd be a nightmare. Then what SCS does him? Yeah, that's the thing. Adrian is HE was a huge fail to me, too. Oh, it was ridiculous, man. It, it made no fucking sense to me at all. To be fair, I didn't, you know, actually pay for it, but still. I mean, it, it just, I don't get it, man. I really don't. I just didn't get it. Didn't make no sense ready. to me. What? You know, this reminds me of that time. Agent Bars 4 will be great. I didn't like 3, man. I didn't like 3 at all. 3 kind of killed Age of Empires for me. I was literally playing 2 for years. Like, I was playing 2 online when you had to look hard to find somebody to play with. I enjoyed 2 that much. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't want him to join the party because now he's going to come in at 7.50. Refrigerators. Fuck me, dude. I can't believe I did that. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Why would I do that? Why would I be so stupid as to fucking do that, dude? Why? For what reason would I be foolish enough to not tell him to fuck off? You know you don't attack him? Well, I literally just tried to rob him, and it actually wouldn't even let me open the thing, so... It's actually locked. It would be specific, but I don't know what it was playing in multi? Maybe. I mean, I, to be fair, I hated Warcraft 3 when it came out, because I played Warcraft 2 for ages. And so I was like, this champion shit, I don't like this at all. I don't know if we want to give him uh, katanas, and then... Uh, give him Celestial Fury and shit. I think we'll do that. We'll see how that goes. And fuck me, I can't believe I fucking did that again. I'm such a fucking idiot, dude. So good at this game. I've been started yet? Yeah. Made about 1500 games? Holy shit, dude. Yeah. I made that ma I don't know, I don't think I even made that many for Age of- Uh, for two, but I loved it, dude. I loved Age of Empires, man. I would play Age of Empires, and I would play Half-Life constantly. Playing Baldur's Gate? I mean, it was just- it was completely different. Are you gonna keep Heratelise? Yeah, he's actually uh, one of my go-to tanks. Um, he's really fucking uh, good in that sense. Improved Bard Song is amazing. He gets flat resistances as well. He can cast all the spell immunities that you want to keep him alive in melee, and uh, his kit's not only, honestly not that bad. Lore is not that great, but it's pretty good. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's just fucking stupid. Uh, yeah, it's just embarrassing. What are you gonna do? You ever play up with them, support them nonetheless? Yeah. Con 9 Bar is the best tank. It's ironic, isn't it? I know, but a lot of people hate him. Eh, a lot of people aren't playing with the, with what I'm running right now. In the base game, I would probably never take care to lease. There's no reason to. Um, but with SCS and, uh, on Insane Difficulty, it's actually, he's... He fulfills the role I'm looking for very, very well. AoE 1 and 2 loved also? Yeah, I, I, like I said, I loved Age of Empires, man. They were great, but 3 I just couldn't get into at all. But yeah, this thing is actually locked, Yopa Maris. You can't rob him while Mechrath is still here. I don't know if something changed it or what, but yeah, you can't actually steal from him. Hold on, you do something to level 1 butter to have run? Yeah. I did a level 1 run, but I never got past uh, throwing a ball. I couldn't figure out how to do uh, the Ravager. Because he would just regenerate too much HP. You ever play Strife? If you're talking to me, I have not. I've never played Strife. Without, uh, I guess, I think you said somebody did uh, a run where they sold the uh, Wanda Cloud Kill and that's how they did it. So I guess that could work. Just wanted you, don't forget that. That's all. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, well, it's like, uh, I rush people. I was playing Warcraft 2 for years. So I'm not used to, like, I played Starcraft 2. Starcraft as well, right? In both those games, you don't have a champion. It's just, champion is a lot more micro than macro, and I like more macro than micro. If that makes sense. Yes. 
But um, Warcraft 3 changed that big time. And I wasn't... I didn't... I ended up playing the game later and enjoying it a lot. But at the time, when it first came out, I was like, this sucks. This absolutely sucks. Red uh, which I know sounds kind of strange, but yeah. How close are we to? Yeah, too close. Two in Emperor players? Oh shit, did we crash? Kinda hoping for a crash. Then I could reload and come get this dude without fucking it up like an idiot. Alright, take our time, boys. We remember what happened to Yan last time over here. There it is. Don't forget to raise me. Or Yan. Shit, I'm out of inventory. Hmm. There we go. You sound like oh, I can do that. We work on shooting a skin before we let's see a little welcome to cheese with the I don't know, I thought Blizzard went on to something. Yeah, I, I wasn't a big fan of it. I wasn't a big fan when it first came out, but I played it like a couple years later and it's like, oh this is fun. Yes, you got me think Korean style. I'm not competitive, I guess. I the reason I kept playing was because I got my ass pounded by some of the best people I've ever ever met, and they just kicked my ass. And I was like, "Wow, I suck at this." And he's like, "Dude, no, you're fine. I can see what you're doing. What you're doing is smart. You're just, you know, you're not used to playing this way. You need to be playing faster." And I got really, really good at it. And I played with these people that I thought were gods. And then I would get to the point where I'd kick their ass, and it's just. Yeah, it's it's definitely uh it's definitely a surprise when you think you're the best at video games and then you get your ass absolutely handed to you by somebody else. But then you learn from it. If you keep playing it, you learn from it, you get better and better and better and better and, better. and then I mean, I don't think I would have won against Boxer or Yellow, but I got pretty good at StarCraft, dude. I got pretty fucking good. Brood War. I didn't do as much multiplayer in StarCraft 1. Brood War, I played a lot of. Last time it was seven runs ago? That was a while ago. That's true. There was a game that got banned when I was a kid. It was the first person shooter open world. Oh, really? Huh. Last thing you showed later, both teams upon greatest game mechanics, right? There was a classic. Spent hours on didn't have a PC back. I had Jim McGurman take turns on the game, of course. Oh, shit. Did you play ICCUP? Uh, BNet servers, mostly. But I did do a little bit uh, on some other websites. Um, I know... Uh, wasn't Liquid. What was the site that was before Team Liquid got really big? There's a site we use to uh, to match players. Fuck, I don't remember what it was called. But like they had their own little mini ladder shit, right? That they uh, updated on the website. And we'd uh, match people with that. And it was a lot of fun. Not that there was anything wrong with Battle.net. It's just, you know... It was fun as shit, though, for sure. Does anyone here remember actually connecting and playing with people with your internet modem? Oh, I remember connecting to a computer in Warcraft 2, right? Before, long before Battle.net was created, when you still had dial-up and everyone was using AOL and shit, and it would take you, like, fucking ten minutes to connect to someone else's computer through the phone line? Fucking hilarious, dude. Like the approach to facts, now you choose your house and choose two sub-houses? That's cool. And she was absolutely brutal, man. Thank God the internet evolved, dude. I didn't start playing StarCraft seriously until we got a cable modem. Yeah, I mean, I liked the idea of being able to play with anybody anywhere, you know what I mean? You been playing in prison now? Yeah. We're gonna go pick up some arrows of the spelling on Mazzy, and then we're gonna we're gonna go for it. At 28k log to battle after down. Holy shit. That's brutal, man. 56k stud right here, boys. Hello, my good smiling friends. 
See if we need another list. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes, indeed, I. Yeah, so we're gonna go and uh, drop Hair to Lease off real quick. Um, then we're gonna go grab Mazzy again. Do this shit, then get Hair to Lease back in the party ASAP. I can't fucking believe I invited him in. I'm such a shit, dude. I'm such a useless sack of dumbass shit. And so, we'll run with Hair to Lease, get Jahira's quest done ASAP. And then we'll kick her ass to the curb, get Nalia in, and then our party is pretty much set for the game. It's one of the games I hope they'll remake. Press the strategy RPG. Huh. So you Diablo Forever played a mean PK mage. SC multi is much later. They do sell just impossible. Oh yeah, dude. Fuck that shit. I love uh, Diablo, man. Diablo and D2. D2 is my shit. I, s I don't think he does our camper off. He might, but I seriously fucking doubt it. I seriously doubt it. I know he gets the quest XP. So when we do the quest and you get the flat, you know, 60k for each person per person XP, I know he gets that even if he's not in the party. But, uh, yeah, I, I think we're, I think I screwed the pooch, dude. I fucked up. But we're not gonna make that mistake with Nalia, alright? And to be fair, no, that's stupid. That still doesn't matter. I was gonna say, like, at the end of, um, BG2... When we go to throw in a ball, they get boosted up to 3 mil, but it doesn't really matter because he should have that by then. But also, he doesn't get high level spells. The only thing we want after, like, level 15 is honestly his HLAs, which he won't get for a fucking while anyway, so. It isn't too much of a big deal, it's just kind of disappointing. So, I mean, mistakes were made, but it's not the end of the world, boys. I go. This sparrow is ready to fly. What the fuck was that, dude? Fifty crushing damage, real quick. We just pound your ass real fast, Corgan, if you don't mind. Yeah, we'll see what happens, man. I don't think we'll get the XP boost again, but who knows? Who knows, please? I still don't get how he manages to take everybody here. Okay, I already I have the souls of these ones attuned, okay. Maybe he just used some magical spell to take them out. I can believe that. Alright, so we're gonna go grab Mazzy. Shit, we might not have time for the Plane of Prison, boys. We might have to start with it tomorrow morning. We shall see. This be a grand enough love. Me hop me needin' to kill you. Grab the spell immunity and trade me for Yant. Yeah, he's gotta have duration. He doesn't have the flat spell immunity, though. I'm saving the real spell immunity, the last one we get until Underdark, for Nalia. Because you know for sure that fucking hair delise his bitch ass isn't gonna learn it. I think this is a good spot to stop here, actually, guys. And then we'll continue on tomorrow with our epic journey. Count. Stream count two. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. Greatly appreciate all you guys who are new here to the stream. I hope you had a good time and enjoyed it. We stream Baldur's Gate literally every single day except Sunday, starting at 10 o'clock, except for Saturday, which we start at noon. We have the schedule down there in the bottom. If you haven't followed yet, hit that follow button. We have a Twitter. We have a Discord. We have all sorts of fun shit. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's anything you'd like to see, do let me know. I do take messages. I do read every single thing you guys say. And I do greatly appreciate and love every single one of you. I hope you guys have a fucking awesome day. I hope everything you want to do in life, you succeed. Because I love you. God loves you. God bless, my friends. We'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day or evening, depending on where you are, my friends. 
Take it easy, dudes. God bless.